In this video, I will show you how to fix controller input lag on your Xbox Series X or S. So let's jump straight into it. So in order to do this, as you can see, I'm currently on the login screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log into my account. And now we're logged in, we are on our Xbox dashboard. Now there's a couple of things you can do to actually help with the input lag. So what you're gonna to want to do from here is come up to your settings. So let's get this gear icon up here in the top right hand corner, and then press A on your controller. From here on the menu on the left hand side, you wanna come down to devices and connections, then go ahead and press right, and then press A onto controllers and headsets. So it's gonna take you across to a screen like this, and what you wanna do first is on this screen, you wanna come down to the three dots, press A to go into more options, you want to see if there's any updates available. Now, if your controller is out of date and it's using an older version of firmware, this is going to cause some input lag. So if there is an update available, it's going to say update now. So just go ahead and press A on your controller. It's going to say ready to update. So you just want to go ahead and update your controller. At this point, you want to make sure you keep the controller completely motionless and make sure it does turn on. So make sure you do have enough battery on your controller. This just takes a minute or two to go ahead and update. So once the controller has finished applying the update, as you can see, it's going to say updated and there's going to be a green tick. So you can just press A on your controller to go next. And that should update your controller with the latest firmware to improve the input on the controller. And you should now have a better input and not really experience any problems with input lag. So the next thing I would recommend, as you can see, I'm currently using a wireless controller, but for the best possible experience with input, you want to actually use a wired controller. So these are available from Xbox and these do give you the best possible input as it's directly plugged into your console rather than receiving a signal. So now it's how to go ahead and fix controller input lag on your Xbox Series S or X. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.